Let's make a measurement. Now we want to measure this part in centimeters. So let's take out a ruler and we'll make the measurement. Our ruler, called ruler A in this case, is in centimeters already. So that's good. And the precision for this ruler is one centimeter. That is, the ruler is marked in one centimeter increments. Thus, we can determine that this part is between three centimeters and four centimeters. For sure, we know that. So we'll report a three. And we're certain about this three. We can mark it as a certain digit. Should we add another digit to our measurement? Well, let's try. But we have to guess a little bit. It's a tiny bit more than halfway between, so let's guess that our new digit is a 6. But we acknowledge that we had to guess on this digit. It's not a certain digit. We'll call it an uncertain digit. We guess that it was a 6, but it could have been, if we're being honest, a 5, maybe a 7. It's an educated guess. If we were asked how many significant figures, or sig figs, in this measurement, we would say two, one certain digit and one uncertain digit. And it's worth noting that every measurement should have only one uncertain digit. To make sense of this, we can consider having more than one uncertain digit really doesn't make any sense. If we were to report this measurement as 3.62, we look at the 2 and we say, it doesn't add any value to our reporting. If the 6 is uncertain, then the 2, well, is beyond uncertain. It's a complete guess, and therefore it's totally useless. In fact, having extra uncertain digits might cause you problems. If someone read your measurement and saw extra digits, they would assume that your measurement was much better than it really was. And this can cause confusion to a designer who will assume that your measurement was way better and maybe design something that's way more complicated to build and therefore way more expensive. Now let's switch our measuring tools. We'll pick ruler B. Now this ruler has a much higher precision. This time the ruler is marked in one millimeter increments or one tenth of a centimeter. And this allows us to measure our part much more precisely. Now, we see that the part is definitely between 3.5 centimeters and 3.6 centimeters. So we can start reporting as 3.5, and these are our certain digits. That is, we know for sure that the measurement starts with 3.5, and we learn that we should always have one uncertain digit at the end of our measurement. So, Let's make an educated guess on our next digit. And we take a look. It looks slightly more than 3.5, just slightly. So let's guess a 2. It could have been a 1, could be a 2, maybe a 3, definitely not an 8 or a 9. So it is an educated guess. It's an uncertain digit, but 2 is a pretty good guess. In this case, if we were asked how many significant figures or sig figs we have in our measurement, we would say three, two certain digits, and one uncertain digit. Switching to ruler C. Now, this ruler we can see has the same precision as ruler B, it seems. It's marked in one millimeter increments. But the measurement seems to be disagreeing with our previous readings. According to ruler C, this part is definitely between 3.3 and 3.4 centimeters. And with one uncertain digit, maybe we report our measurement as 3.32 centimeters. Two certain digits and one uncertain digit. Perfect. But we note that we do have a problem. Assuming that the general agreement between rulers A and B indicate that the measurement should be around 3.5 centimeters or so. Then we would have to look at our result for ruler C and say there's something wrong. It seems to be inaccurate. It's very precise, like ruler B, but seems not to be accurate. 
Maybe the ruler was manufactured poorly. Maybe it got warped in some heat. We don't know. But the precision looks good. The accuracy, ah, there's a problem here. 